Alright guys, Diecast Mania here with another video, and today we're going to be doing a model review of the NZG Caterpillar 245 with Balderson Hydraulic Hammer. Now this model was introduced in 1992 as a variation of the venerable Caterpillar 245 by NZG. Now, the original Cat 245 by NZG was introduced in 1974 with a front shovel configuration following in 1975. Now, between 1974 and 1992, uh, NZG had produced a 245 in a variety of different paint and decal configurations with the 245 with Balderson Hammer being the final and one of the hardest to find variations because they made this one in a official launch edition which meant NZG would produce this in lower numbers probably around maybe 2500 or 5000 uh, models um, can't find a number out there but those if I were to hazard a guess would probably be the most likely numbers they would have picked but being a 1992 model I see a huge problem uh, with this some of you uh, cat guys out there will probably see this a mile away um, but for those of you that don't know, 1992 was the last year for, just about the last year for the Caterpillar 200 series before the flagship model and the rest of them were replaced by the 300 series with 245 being replaced by the Cat 375. Now, the 1992 245D would have had a cab like this which was on the uh, NZG 215 but for some reason between 1974 and 1992 NZG never revised their 245 tooling they had always produced it with this pointy 1974 cab which even by you know the late 70s was outdated I'm not really sure how they could have gotten away with that that might have been might have played a role in their downfall as a Caterpillar licensee, but who knows. Anyway, features the wide, smooth, rolling rubber tracks, just like any other 245, the little hook, or um, little uh, pin uh, connection point there. If you want to tow this, say it was uh, disabled, um, just uh, for those of you out there, quick tip. If you ever find yourself towing a excavator like this with the drives disconnected, please always have someone behind you following that can control the braking of this machine or else you end up uh, like a certain somebody um, with the dozer in the front uh, flipped over because the excavator went out of control down the hill and uh, knocked them over when they tried to turn. So that's today's safety lesson, but all right. Some of you might know what I'm talking about. Some of you are absolutely clueless, but uh, the undercarriage is a very interesting thing on the 245s. The way they assembled it, uh, you can actually unscrew these two screws and uh, narrow it, which I'll show you the narrowed undercarriage on my uh, standard excavator version, as you can see. But anyway, good range movement, deep digging depth, stick curls out all the way, curls in, hammer goes out, hammer goes in, and has a spring-loaded uh, chisel, which is a really cool feature, and it has a decent amount of detailing as well. And like all the other CAT 245s by NZG, no interior detailing. You can see there's the work lights on both sides of the boom. We have the basic detailing, like all the panel lines, the catwalks, the vents up top, exhaust, air intake, which looks more like a chimney on a factory and a big mushroom. But yeah, basic detailing, metal hydraulic lines, 
we have the screws that allow you to completely disassemble the boom off of this machine if you really wanted to. But anyway, yeah, that is the Caterpillar 245 with Balderson hydraulic hammer. Oh, and uh, one more safety tip for you guys. Um, yeah, probably not a good idea to stand up here and uh, try and change an O-ring on this thing, just saying. So, um, anyway, if you've got those references, good for you. Uh, if you don't, um, I have a couple words. Uh, shake hands with danger. So, anyway, there you go. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. I know this is a little different review. Things are kind of all over the place, but... Hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.